tumshukuru asubuhi ya leo ewe Mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu hakuna Mungu mwingine aliye kama wewe wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu Jehova uishie milele tunakushukuru asubuhi ya leo tunasema ni asante kwa wema wako na familia zako umetulinda wiki mzima bwana na umetuwezesha siku ya leo tunapoingia kwa ibada asubuhi tunaomba Mungu katuelekeze ukatusaidie ukatupiganie vita ukatuwezeshe ewe Mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu pokea sifa asubuhi ya leo tunakushukuru ewe Mungu wetu sema ni asante kwa wema wako asante kwa jinsi ulivyo Mungu mwaminifu Mungu mweza yote Bwana tunakushukuru Father we thank you this morning in the name of Jesus your faith your faith kwa kila jambo Bwana tunaomba baraka zako asubuhi ya leo Sande kwa ajili ya msamaha wa dhambi umekuwa nasi Bwana umetubariki Tunakushukuru asubuhi ya leo We are here this morning to worship you and to serve you Lord Father we worship Amen. Amen. Ningeomba tusimame asubuhi ya leo tunapomwabudu Bwana. Bwana amekuwa pamoja nasi, ametuongoza, ametuelekeza, ametupatia asubuhi nyingine ili tuweze kuja katika nyumba lake tumuinue na tumwabudu katika jina la Yesu. Jehova amekuwa nasi meona mkono wake ametubariki ametuelekeza na asubuhi ya leo tumekuja kumshukuru kwa matendo yake makubwa na jinsi alivyo Mungu mwaminifu jinsi alivyo Mungu mwema jinsi alivyo Mungu mwenye enzi ambaye hashindwi kamwe anabaki akiwa Mungu najua kwamba tumekuwa na wiki mzima yenye matarajio tumepitia mambo lakini asubuhi ya leo tumefika katika nyumba lake Mungu na tumekuja tu kutafuta uso wake na kumlilia asubuhi ya leo katika jina la Yesu ningeomba uweze Wenda mbele zake Mwenyezi Mungu mulilie kwa dakika chache mahitaji ambayo umekuja nayo asubuhi ya leo mulilie Bwana asubuhi ya leo yeye husikia kilio cha wanao yeye ni mwaminifu yeye atatuwezesha atakubariki asubuhi ya leo Licha na mambo naopitia tunakuheshimia Bwana ni mwaminifu Jehova akutembele Jehova na akutende mema In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Oh Lord we are in your presence this morning In the name of Jesus tunakushukuru tunakuwa buku kwa wema wako na fadhili zako hakika wewe ni mwaminifu wewe ni Mungu mwema Mungu mwenye uwezo 
haubadiliki na majira unaishi ukiwa Mungu haubadiliki kwa sababu ya mambo you remain to be God you never change because of seasons you are the same yesterday today and forevermore in the name of Jesus heavenly father we give you praise oh lord we exalt your holy name there is none like you this morning we humble ourselves before you we believe in your sovereignty you are god in the name of jesus there is none like you lord father we thank Tumekuja kutafuta uso wako Tunaomba Bwana ukatuelekeze Naomba Jehova ukatupiganie vita Katika jina la Yesu Ukatusamehe ewe Bwana Ukatusafi na damu ya Yesu Katika jina la Yesu Pokea sifa na utukufu in Jesus name Father we thank you this morning We cry before your presence oh God In the mighty name of Jesus You are awesome You are mighty oh God Hakuna mungu wa mwingine Wakufananishwa na wewe Wakulinganishwa na wewe Wewe ni mungu muema Mungu mwaminifu Mungu mwenye enzi falme wa falme hauchoki nasi umetuwezesha umesimama nasi umetupigania kila vita tumeona mkono wako katika jina la Yesu pokea sifa asubuhi ya leo uinuliwe asubuhi ya leo Katika jina la Yesu Heavenly Father We thank you this morning We praise your name Thank you Jesus Thank you King Jesus We worship you Father We give you praise dear Lord In the name of Jesus Father you are faithful Wewe ni mwaminifu Mungu mwenye enzi Baba uishie milele Hakuna Mungu mwingine Wewe ni Jehovah mwaminifu Haleluya tunakuabudu Haleluya tunakuinua Kati ya jina la Yesu Oh we worship you Father we give you praise, dear Lord. There is none like you. What a mighty God we serve this morning. Thank you, Father, because of your mercies. We turn you every morning. In the name of Jesus, your mercies are new. Every morning, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank 
baba tunakuabudu asubuhi ya leo tunakuinua sababu wewe ni mwema hakuna mungu mwingine wewe ni mungu mkuu umetusaidia tumeuona mkono wako umesimama nasi bwana tujakosa kuona uaminifu wako ambao ni wa vizazi na vizazi tumeona mkono wako bwana umetusaidia ewe Mungu wetu pokea sifa na utukufu sababu wewe ni mwema asante kwa wema wako omba mwongozo wako asubuhi ya leo simame nasi tupiganie kila vita twajua sio bure kukutafuta na kutafuta uso wako katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru ewe Mungu wetu tukisema ni asante asante kwa wema wako asante kwa uweza wako wewe ni bwana kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba na kuamini. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ingeomba tuimbe wimbo mmoja wa tenzi. Tunapojiandaa kusikia neno la Bwana tenzi namba 16. Kumtegemea mokozi wangu tano. Kabisa. Amen. Sababu tunapomtegemea Mungu kuna jambo lingine wakati wote tunapotegemea huyu Mungu hatutaibika bali Bwana atakuwa nasi na atupigania Amen Mtegemea Mungu
sauti katika jina la Yesu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Good morning. Tunashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya asubuhi ya leo ambaye Mungu ametupatia na ametuleta katika ibada hii ya kwanza. Napenda kuwakaribisha nyote katika jina la Yesu. Tunapoendelea kutafuta huyu Mungu sababu Mungu wetu anastahili kutafutwa na mapema katika jina la Yesu. Kwa hivyo nawakaribisha kwa ibada yetu ya asubuhi ya leo in Jesus name. Ah, uh, tumekuwa tukiongea kuhusu kukoma kiroho spiritual maturity maturity na asubuhi ya leo ningependa ku kuletea mahubiri yale katika jina la Yesu ili tukaweze kukoma kiroho na ni mambo yapi ambayo tunastahili kuyafanya this morning ili tukomae kiroho na tuendelee kukoma na tuendelee kuwa watu ambao wamekoma kiroho they are mature spiritually this morning uh, Paulo anasema kwamba kati alikuwa mtoto alifanya tu mambo kama mtoto lakini wakati amekoma sasa anaweza kufanya yale mambo ambayo yanafanywa na mtu mzima And God is calling us this morning as a church that we may grow tuondoke zile tabia za kitoto na tuanze kukua na tuanze kufahamu mambo tuondoke sasa maziwa tuanze kula mifupa na tuweze kuendelea na kukoma kiroho na ni mambo yapi ambayo yanaweza kutusaidia kukoma kiroho asubuhi ya leo Number one, we must recognize that God should be first Mungu lazima awe wa kwanza katika maisha yetu asubuhi ya leo What does the Bible say in the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 The Bible inasema kwamba but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well recognize that god should be first in your life mkristo aliyekoma anaelewa ya kwamba mungu ndiye number one. katika maisha yake katika kila kitu anachokifanya kukoma ni kuelewa ya kwamba i should give god priority number one. in anything that i do god should be number one, not number two. na kwa hivyo recognize god and number two, uh, kuna that authority authority ya mungu mpe Mungu nafasi yake that that means refusing what i desire into what god desires for me will unify my conscience with the mind of god kuna yale matamanio yako unayoyataka but unapomwambia Mungu you are my authority They are my desires. Na kama mtu ambaye amekomaa unamwachia Mungu na mwambia God lead the way. Take me through. I don't know what to do but I know 
ya kwamba utachukua nafasi you can read the book of second timothy chapter 3 verse 16 and 17 sitazoma zote kwa sababu ya time and number 3 a mature christian must have the willingness 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 to do what to change because he needs a divine direction you must be willing to change any child anakuanga na matamanio ya kutoka stage 1 paka the next stage kuna wakati unakuta ana ana crawl anaendelea kujishikilia vitu ili ajifundishe kusimama that is a change a process of life wakati mwingine unaona anasimama ameshikilia kiti ama ameshikilia stool the other time unaona sasa ameachilia and that child is excited about that ya kwamba he or she can stand on her own anaweza kusimama peke yake that is a process of life and brothers and sisters this morning we must be willing to change there are some things that we need to change someone say that if you don't change change will change you praise god and then uh, for us to grow we must go through a process of change you change from one thing to another you change from one stage to another willingness to change praise the name of the lord you can read john chapter 7 verse number 17 and number 4 any mature christian must take responsibility any mature christian must take responsibility take responsibility for your life You must desire to be a honorable vessel that God can use in his kingdom. Are you responsible? Any mature Christian is responsible for anything that he or she does. Na lazima tuwe responsible to chew we take up responsibility. tulilelewa na wazazi ambao walitupatia responsibility ya kulea wale watoto wengine waliokuwa nyuma yetu walipoona tumekomaa tumefika kiwango ya kwamba tunaweza kulea na tunaweza kusaidia wengine we took up responsibility and then mature christian or he or she is willing to mature to attain that maturity must be responsible and this morning god is calling us if we want to attain to maturity we must be responsible believers watu ambao wanaweza kuachiwa mambo washughulikie na wasimamie you see in the laws of the land without attaining the age of 18 you are termed as you cannot be responsible to handle issues of life you cannot marry hata ukiwa na miaka 17 na unaonekana wewe ni msichana ama ni mwanaume mzima unaonekana unajua kuna watu unaona wako na miaka 16 17 wanaonekana 
wanakuwa na ka responsibility fulani wanafikiria kitu tofauti wanaonekana wamekomaa kama hauna miaka 18 na ID you are termed by the Kenyan Kenyan government you cannot be responsible you have not grown up to become an adult ambaye anaweza ku handle issues of life praise the name of the lord na Mungu wakati mwingine anatuona vile kuna mambo hawezi kutupatia wakati anaona ya kwamba hatujakomaa kiwango cha kuachiwa mambo mengine kwa sababu mambo mengine ukipatiwa na Mungu ni mazito yatakumaliza praise the name of the lord amen ni kama sasa kuna mtu anaomba hapa Mungu naomba unibariki na milioni moja na kuna wakati Mungu alikupatia dhau kumi ukapotea kwake Mungu anaona hii nikikupea sasa wewe umeenda umeenda ukiendanga you are not you cannot be responsible kama ile kidogo Mungu alikupatia ulihama na ukaenda kabisa ilipoisha ndio ulirudi tena ukaanza kumwambia Bwana nimerudi Mungu anaona you are not responsible praise the name of the Lord na wakati mwingine kama wa Kristo Mungu anatuita katika kiwango ya kwamba anatuaminia mambo makubwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa sababu tumekuwa waaminifu hata kwa yale mambo madogo we became responsible we took up the task tukasimama katika pengo tukashikilia kila kitu vizuri na kila kitu kikaendelea vizuri Mungu akaona these people are responsible they can handle my work vizuri na machua christians lazima ukue responsible hata kwa maneno yako kile unasema you must become responsible praise the name of the lord unaona ngo wakati mwingine mtu akienda kotini ameua alafu anaulizwa ni wewe ulifanya hivyo ama ni mwingine anasema ni mimi niliua mtu kwanza anapelekwa angaliwe hakili kama timamu sababu hilo jambo linaonekana ni jambo mzito wanamekubali anaenda anajaribu kuambiwa mtu huwa kubali kwa sababu lile jambo umekubali litakuweka kwa jela miaka yako yote maisha yako yote and god is calling us kuna mambo mengi katika dunia ambao yanataka kuingia katika kanisa ambao there yanataka kuleta ujanja wa aina fulani katika wakristo ili tuweze kuconform kama dunia but any mature christian mkristo ambaye anaya anaendelea kukomaa anajua kwamba i need to be transformed nahitaji kubadilishwa ili nifanane na Kristo mwenyewe and i normally say we are being transformed from one thing to another from one stage to another tunaendelea kukomaa kutoka kiwango kimoja hadi kiwango kile kingine jinsi ulivyookoka siku ya kwanza we expect baada ya miaka mitatu mine uwe mtu mwingine tofauti ambaye amebadilika totally kabisa that is what we call transformation praise the name of the lord transformation and any believer ambaye anaendelea kukua kiroho huwa anatamani that transformation meaning unatoka level moja unaingia level nyingine praise the name of the lord vile ulikuwa unaomba wakati uliokoka hata maombi yako yanabadilika with the time 
Kuna wakati ulikuwa unaomba maombi ya seconds. You can pray for 20 minutes. That is transformation. You can pray for 30 minutes. That is transformation. You can handle big things in terms of uh, kingdom matters. Unaweza kusimamilia mambo makubwa sababu umekuwa transformed umebadilika from one state to another may god help us even as we grow spiritually to be transformed let us not conform to the patterns of this world kuna mambo mengi katika dunia na mungu anatuita asubuhi ya leo be he transformed do not conform to the patterns of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good pleasing and perfect will taweza kupambanua mapenzi yake mungu kujua kile kilicho chema na ambacho sio chema Number six, commitment. 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 Second Timothy chapter one, verse 12. You can read it for yourself. And here we realize that Jesus is the same. He is consistent. I need that in a changing world. To be consistent. Having that commitment. Commitment. Any believer that wants to attain maturity must be committed. Committed to what you are doing. Committed to the service. Committed to the work of God. Kile ambacho unafanya, you are committed. You commit yourself even to this service. Praise the name of the Lord. And I say, Na mwaka huu mungu wa metubariki kwa ibada hii, we are getting people that are committed to this service. You are ready to support God's work. Na unasema, mimi nitakuwa committed mwa. Nataka niende lepo nyingine katika kukua na kukuma kiroho. Niwe committed na kazi ya mungu. Wanaiswa sifiwe wakati tunatafuta watu wa kusimamilia idara tofauti you are committed you are there your commitment is in, is in another level you are consistent praise the name of the lord uko tu pale tukikutafuta tunajua kwamba you are consistent ya kwamba tunaweza kukupata unajua kuna watu wengine they are not committed they are neither here or there. Wako tu, yaani wako tu, lakini hawapatikani. They are not committed in anything. They cannot commit themselves. Praise the name of the Lord. You commit your, your time. You commit your money. You commit your everything. You commit your body. You commit yourself to this one. Na wacha ni wambie, kazi ya mungu kusimama na kuendelea, it means kuna watu wa mejikomit. Kuna watu wa kopale wanasema kwa ma mimi ni mejitoa muhanga. Unaonanga wale watu wana, wanaenda wanajibomu. Wamekuanga, wanakuanga wamejitoa muhanga, wanasema I will die for the sake of my religion. 
na wanasema kwamba wakifanya hivyo wanaidanga straight pinguni which is also another lie it's not true but according to them they commit themselves to that what about we as believers we are supposed to commit ourselves our commitment should be in another level when i saw the fear our commitment should be in another level number seven as a mature christian there must be forgiveness kusameheana you can read first john chapter 1 verse 9 we are all sinners but we have been forgiven because we repent if god has forgiven me i should forgive myself and also forgive others amen mkristo aliye koma ni mkristo ambaye ako na msamaha na kusamehe wengine katika moyo wake unasikia anga watu wakisema kwamba au unapofikia sitawahi kusamehe na hii dunia tumezingirwa na watu ambao wanatukosea kila siku hata ukitoka hapa mahali unafanya kazi utaenda ukosewe tu na mtu up to when utaishi na hiyo makasiriko katika moyo Kristo aliyekoma ni Mkristo ambaye anasamehe haraka nasema nimekusamehe ndugu yangu nimekusamehe my sister nimekusamehe na unasamehe na hiyo inaondoka unajisaidia hata kupona magonjwa mengine you know mtu ambaye ana haba unforgiveness katika moyo wake hiyo she doesn't prosper hata una attract magonjwa mengine kwa mwili kwa sababu ya unforgiveness an any believer that is mature can forgive easily ukiona mtu ambaye hasamehei yeye na kukomaa kiroho wako mbali kidogo lakini amachua christian is able to forgive quickly na kwa hivyo asubuhi ya leo kama kuna mtu amekukosea tafadhali msamehe bwana yesu asifiwe achilia hiyo mizigo lay off that burden achilia hiyo mizigo ili uweze kwenda safari bwana yesu asifiwe kuna watu wana uchungu katika moyo na Mkristo ambaye amekomaa ni yule Mkristo ambaye anasamehe. Unajua kuna watu ni kweli wanakuambia nimekusamehe lakini walikuweka mbali. Wanasema nimekusamehe lakini ukwe unakaa huko. Mimi na wewe hatupatani. Mimi nilikusamehe lakini story zangu na wewe ziliisha. That is not forgiveness. Forgiveness ni kusamehe na unasahau kabisa na unatengeneza uhusiano wako na huyo mtu umekomaa Bwana Yesu asifiwe Sababu Mungu naye akitusamehe maandiko yanasema as far as east and west venye ziko mbali hivyo ndivyo anatuweka mbali na dhambi zetu Kumaanisha kwamba anatusamehe na anatusamehe kabisa when you attain christian maturity you must forgive be willing to forgive hii dunia utakutana na watu ambao wengine ni kichwa ngumu wengine wanakukosea tu ovyo ovyo but forgive forgive 
Imagine kuna mtu hujasamea hata mtu hata mwingine walikufa na unamsema hata ukiwa kwa kaburi mimi sitaki kusamea. Unajiumiza, unajitesa. Forgive. Forgive. Amen. And also a mature Christian who is growing must be hopeful. 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 Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Let me read uh, verse number 17. Baba says, if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his suffering, in order that we may also share in his glory, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed for the creation was subjected to frustration not by its own choice but by the will of one who subjected it in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God we know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time not only so, but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the Spirit grown inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship, the redemption of our bodies. For in the hope we were saved. But hope that is sin is not hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have. But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Praise the name of the Lord. A mature Christian must be hopeful. We must live a hopeful life. Ata mambo leo ya sipo endelea vizuri, we still hope for tomorrow. And we are hopeful. We live each day with the hope that God will guide us to the place he has prepared. Praise the name of the Lord. You can also write Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. We must be hopeful. And uh, two more. Number nine, persistence. Persistence, that means I will diligently build on my faith. Read Second Peter chapter 1, verse 5 to 11. Persistence. Persistence. Any mature Christian. Ambaya natau koma. Nasima ukue persistence. Persistence. Build on your faith. Kungoja. Mungu. Be persistent in all things that you do. You don't run here and there. You are persistent. There are things ambazo umekua ukipitia. Lakini haujakata moyo, haujakata tama, ukopale na unasimama, na unamabia buwana. I'm still here. I am waiting on you. As David said in the book of Psalm chapter 40, I waited patiently for the Lord and he heard my cry. Waiting in persistence. Any believer that has grown and is growing to attain maturity must be persistence. We must wait on God. We must be there and tell God, hapa tuondoki, tunakungoja, tunajua kwamba utakuja. And lastly, in a mature Christian or a Christian who wants to attain maturity must have something I call service. You must be in service. Instead of thinking that others should serve you, then be in service and serve others unconditionally. 
serve others unconditionally. We are called to serve others. Be in service. Matthew 20, 28. Matthew 20, 28. Praise the name of the Lord. What does the Bible say in the book of Matthew 20, 28, as I conclude? Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. He came to serve. Serve unconditionally. Without questions. Tumikia mungu. Now tumikia wengine. Serve. That shows umekoma. Haulizi ya kwamba hey, na baada hii tutakuwa na mnagani. Unajua hii kitu likuwa inataka kuingia pita. Pita na muambia yesu. Hey, yesu tume, nisi tume serve sana. Na muambia sasa. Na sisi mambo yetu itakuwa aje. Eh? Baadae tutatoka na nini tukikufuata. Tumekufuata miaka hii tatu. Mastori yetu itakuwa na mnagani. Pension yetu ikuwa na mnagani. Eh? Kukufuata. Hii tumekufuata yote. Eh, ni nini tuna benefit na wewe eh? na yesu wakamambia hakuna ya yote alie acha mama haka acha mke haka acha watoto haka acha biashara haka acha kila kitu atakosa hmm? kupata wengine na zaidi ya yote uzima wa milene wana yesu asifiwe tumikie ni mungu wa bendwa wa kristo walio koma wamejitoa katika kutumishi kutumikia Mungu unconditionally without hata kutaka kuonekana without hata kutaka ku, eh, kutambulika they are there serving God let us stand for a word of prayer in Jesus name Baba wetu na Mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu tunakushukuru asubuhi ya leo Tunasema ni asante kwa wema na fadhili zako. Umetunenea subu ya leo. Tusaidie kuendelea kukua kiroho na kukomaa kiroho. Na kwa kala, kila mambo ambao tunawayafanya. Tunawamba baraka zako na ushindi wako juu yetu. Bariki yule ambaye amekuwa kitufuata online. Jehova ni namuombea baraka. Ata ya kakue kiroho na kafike kiwango cha kukua katika jina la Yesu. Ewe mungu na baba wetu. Tunaomba baraka, tunaomba neema kwa ibada hii. Katika jina la Yesu, tunaomba na kwa mini. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Tunashukuru Bwana, tumefika mwisho wa ibada. Mungu wetu atubariki na wabariki katika jina la Yesu. Kabla tuende nyumbani, matangazo mawili, alafikisha ndiyo tuwe.